Hello, YouTube friends. Just want to take out time to show you another project that I just completed. This also is a portable solar inverter. As you can see on the top of here, we got a Sun Go inverter. This inverter is different from my other inverters that I deal with. This one here got a big transformer inside. This inverter also have its own built-in charger. If you plug it up into the outlet, when the battery get low, you can charge, it automatically start charging. As you can see, it's got different settings on there for different type of batteries. This unit here will take any kind of battery. You just gotta set it by the little switch right here. And it tell you the different kind of batteries that you can hook into the system, as you can see. This in here also show you the voltage of the battery. As you can see, it just goes back and forth. It just keep going through. Show you the voltage, state of your charge of your battery. As you can see, this here was, this is a nice system. This is a 3000 watt inverter. It's got a surge anywhere between 6,000, 9,000 surge. You can turn, you can run this, you can run your air conditioning on this in your camper if that's what you choose to do. As we go around to the side, you can see you can hook it up two different ways, which I got a hot wired here going to some receptacles on the lower end. But you can also hook it into a, uh, a box. Let's go on to the other side. This is where your wires connect to here. On this side here, you got your hot and your black wires. And like I said, this is a 24 volt system. It also got a start auto generator function right there, where when your batteries get low, it automatically starts your generator. It's got a nice fan there and you got your dip switch. And right here is where you plug into like a, it's a monitor. It's got its own little monitor where you don't have to do the controls on the inverter itself. And as you can see, here's the wires right here where you can plug it into the outlet. Here's a, something additional that I stuck into where I can plug more receptacles in it as well. You know, different kind of plugs there. And as you can see, this is the front of it. This is the front of it. I also got more plugs down on the receptacles on the lower end. You can plug in there as well. Right here is an on off switch and I'll show you what that's for. And here where your solar panels hook up there. Let me show you something before I open it up. This here also got a light on it. That way in the dark, you can turn that light on and see what's going on. Even if you don't want to plug up your regular lights if your power go out. All right, I'm getting ready to open up this door and let you see the rest of the system here. There you go. Look at this. This is the big bar down here. As you can see, got a fake Tron solar charger. On off switch. Got a fuse there. Got a 12 volt panel box where you can hook up 12 volts fuses and run 12 volt off of your wires here. Also got a reducer. To reduce, it, reduce it down from 24 volt down to 12 volt. And of course you can see the bus bars. And if you look on to the right, there's another place where you can plug more receptacles in it is. I just got a little carried away on this one cause I had fun making this one. I really had a lot of fun on this one. And here's the on off switch for the solar charger. And here's the switch to turn on the solar panels. I have to use this one and this one works real good. I'm impressed with this. All right, let me show you something here. This switch right here turns the lights on and off. That's what that does. But at the same time, when it turns the lights on and off, it turns this on and off. But of course I can turn the lights off cause I got a switch there. But also with this here, I put a, what you call, a charge on it. Well, that's not the proper name for it. What it does on a lot of your inverters, 
they call it pre-charge. This is set up where you can pre-charge it. See the little gold piece there? That's uh, how I pre-charge it. What I do, I come here, I push this button. See how it comes on, stand on a little bit? What that doing is pre-charging the inverter if the inverter being turned off. That's the purpose of that right there. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me the thumbs up on this one and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like it. And I appreciate everything y'all are doing for me. Hope you really enjoyed it. And like I said, this is a good inverter. This is a very good inverter. It's heavy. This inverter is really heavy. I want you to know that this thing got some weight to it. But of course, I made the whole setup, the cabinet and everything. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed.